The National Assembly on Tuesday passed the Conference Committee Report on the Electoral Act Amendment Bill. The report was approved by both upper and lower chambers after debate on the bill by lawmakers at plenary. Emmanuel Ehijene completes the report. Recall that most times both chambers pass different versions of the Electoral Act Amendment Bill. This time, it was imperative to set up a harmonization committee to harmonize both versions. At the Senate, it was the leader of the Senate, who is also chairman of the conference committee, Senator Yahya Abdullahi, that laid the ground for the debate. He did so through a motion, and it was unanimously adopted by the senators. The Senate constituted a seven-man conference committee to meet with members of the House of Representatives committee to harmonize the differences between the Senate and House versions of the bill for an act to repeal the Electoral Act No. 6 2010 and enact the Electoral Act 2021 to regulate the conduct of federal, state and area accounts in the federal capital territory elections and for related matters. In the course of carrying out this assignment, several meetings were held, which culminated in a retreat held at Transcom Hilton on Thursday, 21st October 2021. The members of the conference committee have been presented in paragraph 1.1.1. Then I'll put the question on the entire report. Those in favor that the Senate do approve the conference committee report on the Electoral Act No. 6, 2010, say aye. Those against say nay, the ayes have same was the case in the lower chamber as members also adopted the motion after the House dissolved into the committee of the whole House. Chairman of the House Conference Committee later briefed the media on the road to achieving the landmark bill. It was applauded and amplified by the spokesman of the House of Representatives, Honorable Benjamin Kalu, at the briefing. I will begin to look at the principles of democracy that need to be fine-tuned so as to meet the best practices in order to advance democratic plan. One of which is returning power to the people where this government of the people, by the people, for the people, will be seen operating fully for the benefit of the people. The bill will be transmitted to President Muhammad Buhari through the clerk of the National Assembly in due course. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.